everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet you can go ahead and hit that little red button down below it would mean the absolute world to me become a part of the family it is finally that time I know you guys love these videos you're always like please vlog it please vlog it if I like mention it on Instagram stories so I'm filming it for you guys of course I'm going grocery shopping today you guys love grocery hauls organization fridge pantry and let me tell you I get it because I love watching stuff like this too so today is gonna be a full huge grocery haul i'm going to show you guys the before of course and we're going to organize it all together put it all away i'm so excited also a little bit like oh it's not gonna be that fun because i have to sanitize everything so it's gonna be a process but it's okay i kind of set today aside to do all of this because i know it's going to take a while if you guys are new to my channel i just want to give you a little overview of the kitchen so you can get the full picture know what's going on we're going to stock up the fridge today and then over there this tall pantry is where i keep all of our snacks and cans and stuff like that and then these are just storage for like plates, bowls, and kitchen stuff like my um, instant cooker and crock pot and whatnot. So let me show you guys a before. Also real quick, the last time that we got groceries was April 14th and today is May 19th. So it has been over a month. We haven't stocked up on anything. We kind of ran out of our fresh stuff and then just coped with what coped, <laughs> used what we had. And we ordered in a few times, not that much. So it lasted us a good amount of time. We got a lot of stuff. We obviously still have few cans, few like pantry items, but we're definitely out of all the fresh. Um, let me just show you. Here is our fridge. Now, Zane and I usually do go grocery shopping once a month, so we're kind of used to stocking up and making it all last. We like separate our meat and freeze it in Ziploc bags, and I'm pretty good at like getting recipes that use up our fresh stuff in the right amount of time. So we're used to stocking up. Once like um, the pandemic slows down, I would like to go maybe once every week and a half and make more fresh stuff because I definitely want to start eating more fresh produce. Also, if you watch my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with Skinny Taste. She actually reached out and I had this cookbook, but she had asked me what cookbooks I had and she's like, okay, I'm gonna send you more. So she sent me these two right here. So I want to make more of these recipes as well. So I'm gonna go through those and find some ingredients that I want to grab today. We're pretty stocked up on condiments. We have mayo, ketchup, and stuff like that. We just need a lot of fresh stuff, a lot of meat. We got Chinese food yesterday, so there's some leftovers there. We have literally one bell pepper left, and then our onion basket is looking pretty sad as well. So definitely just need a lot of stock ups. We need some more almond milk. Zane needs his sparkling waters. And then up here, our freezer is usually stocked. This bin, um, we just washed it out yesterday, so now it's ready for meat to go in here although once we get meat we keep it in the fridge until it's freeze by date so this won't be filled up until like probably another week or so this container i keep turkey burgers and hot dogs and veggie burgers so we have a little bit of that left and then down here is all of the other frozen stuff so right now we just have some frozen fries some shrimp and some fruit not veggies fruit and then up here is usually stocked with a bunch of frozen veggies right now we just have two things of edamame and then the bottom shelf usually has ice cream in it so i'm gonna go through and i want to kind of wipe down and clean all the shelves so that it's ready for a fresh start these baskets i just recently cleaned our last trip last month i mean i wiped down the shelves too but there's just i just want to wipe them down quick while it's empty because when it's full there the likelihood of me doing that is just not there and then really quick the pantry sorry i know this is a lot i'm gonna be talking later when we get more stuff too so i'm gonna try and keep this short and sweet up there we have extras extra ketchup and our baking goods down here is our cans, so we need to stock up on some canned stuff. This is my herb grower, I'm obsessed with it. Down here is usually where we have potatoes, we're looking sad, this is usually our bread, and then pasta stuff back there. We're good on mac and cheese, we could survive on turkey burgers and mac and cheese. And then in here is rice, pasta sides. This is our snack cabinet, which is looking a little bit empty. If you guys watch my channel, you know how full this usually is. And then down here is our cereals and ramen and some random stuff like that. Oh my god, you guys, I tried this like hack that was going around for the cereal and it actually worked like to fold it up how satisfying is that love it anyways this is like the sad excuse for cereal that we have so i definitely need to stock up on that we're good on ramen don't need any ramen oh and maybe i should grab another syrup too because i love this sugar-free syrup and there you have it there is our pantry oh and lastly i'm going to go through our seasoning cabinet as well because i know some stuff is running low like our onion powder back there also our italian seasoning we're definitely going to need more of that we go through it super Super quick and I like to have like backups on hand we need spray oil so bad we're stocked up on salt so I'm going to clean the shelves make a list and then we will get the hell out of here it's already three o'clock oh my god
So full of self-confidence And everything you said made a lot of sense I thought Okay, it is all finished. It probably doesn't look like much of a difference to you, but everything is wiped down nice and clean. I wiped down the freezer as well. Over here is nice and clean. There's like ice cream stuck to the bottom here. Everything's ready for fresh. I'm excited. Here is how we did it last time and it worked out really well for Zane. So I'm just gonna use it as well. We both have like access to this note on the iPhone app and so we could both like add to it and then it like lights up different colors for who like made the changes. It's really cool. And then if Zane like adds something while I'm at the store and he's at home, then I get like a notification for it. It's really like helpful. So um, this is how we do it and then I can just sanitize my phone when I get home. So I've got a lot of the regular essentials on here. As you can see, we need like a good amount of stuff. And right now I'm gonna go through the cookbooks and make sure that I have everything on my list before I leave. I feel like I'm a very particular person. Zane would have been gone and back by now grocery shopping, but I have to like, if we're refreshing this much, I have to like make sure the fridge is clean and make sure we have everything on the list. Like Zane would have just been gone and back already. So I'm definitely a little more particular when it comes to stuff like this than Zane is. I always have to like do things in order and like do certain things before certain things. A lot of skinny taste recipes are kind of like more basic ingredients that I would already buy, but I do want to make like certain dishes that I'm like, oh, I really want to make that. I want to make sure I have everything instead of like winging it with what we do have. So I'm gonna go through, write it down, and then we're gonna go. Living in your messages. Every day now I can Okay, that seriously took forever because I wanted to look through every single page. So I finally got the grocery list written out. It's a lot of stuff. I don't think we're going to find every single thing, but at least I have the list for it. I'm going with a super comfy cash outfit because... I just want to be comfortable while I'm getting everything. I'm going to be wearing a mask, going to be un uncomfortable. So I went with a super comfy outfit. My sweater is just from Boohoo. It's just like a plain crew neck. And then of course my Fabletics leggings and I'm wearing these Nike sneakers. Very comfy. Let's do this. I am about to head to Lidl. I'm gonna see how much they have there. We might have to go to another store to get more of the stuff. I'm not sure about their stock because it's already later in the day, so we'll see, but they might be all sold out of stuff from the morning. I'm not gonna bring you guys into the actual store because I'm gonna be like paranoid enough and I just don't want more to worry about, so I will leave you guys in, but usually for normal grocery shopping vlogs, I do bring you guys into the store, but for today, we're gonna skip that step. But I will show you every single thing that I end up getting. I just am gonna wanna be like particular about how I shop and stuff and picking up the camera and filming just sounds like not good. So we're, we're gonna skip it. Hopefully you guys can understand. This is makeup on my mask. I'm not dirty, okay? If you're not familiar with Lidl, it's a European based company. Everybody says it's different. Lidl, 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 Lidl. Lidl. I say Lidl. It was a European company. They brought it here. I'm obsessed with it. It's freaking amazing. It's kind of like Aldi, but a little bit different. Um, I personally really love it. But if they don't have everything, we're probably going to go to maybe Walmart or like a regular gro grocery store, like Stop and Shop or ShopRite or something of that sort. 
we'll see. So I know you guys came to this video to see groceries, so I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna go do my shopping, and I will see you guys after I get everything. So weird that I am not filming it, but it's just what we gotta do today. All right, so we just got back. Zane is bringing everything in right now. I'm going to clear off the kitchen table, and we're just gonna sanitize everything in here. It's pretty freaking cold, and it's already 7.20 at night. Oh my god, I'm definitely not going to another store tonight. There's some things that we're missing, but I'll have to go another day because... I'm exhausted, I'm hungry, and I still have to sanitize everything, put everything away. It's gonna be a lot, so there's a few things missing off the list, but that's okay, we got a lot of good stuff. Hey, Ben. Look what I got you, babe. I saw, so yummy. myself in. a freaking moly <laughs> this is the biggest grocery trip we have ever done so if you watch my grocery hauls this is the top tier you guys I could not have organized this properly if I tried there's just way too much damn stuff so we put everything out and then we're gonna disinfect it and then put it all away but I have to show you guys obviously <laughs> Are you proud of me, first of all? If you watch our hauls, you know that we never get this much fresh stuff, and I really want to start eating better, more veggies. I love vegetables. So there's no reason that I shouldn't be eating them more. So I finally stocked up on a ton of vegetables. So we'll start here. We also got a little bit of fruit. I don't really eat fruit that much. I way prefer to eat vegetables, but Zane does like it sometimes. So most of the fruit is for him. We got some grapes, his bananas. I got two heads of cauliflower. A lot of the stuff that I got is because I saw like a bunch of recipes and stuff. So a lot of the stuff will be used up in recipes. I don't have like a meal plan right now, but if you guys watch my videos, you'll see them throughout the next couple of weeks, um, what recipes I make with everything. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys, oh, this is for this recipe, this is for that. I kind of just got a ton of stuff there's still stuff missing from my list, but like this is ridiculous as it is, so I'm not gonna go more shopping. I already decided that. I'm just gonna work with whatever we got, whatever recipes I can make is what I'll make. Anyways, so with that being said, I'm just gonna show you everything. I'm not gonna show you like meals or anything, but you can just continue watching my videos if you want to and see what I make with everything. Anyways, okay Alyssa, let's show you what I freaking got. <laughs> I'm going nuts. Cauliflower, some broccoli. We usually get frozen, but this is all that they had, so I'm excited to work with some fresh broccoli I actually never have. Jalapenos, romaine lettuce, spinach. I got two things of it because it wilts and it's like, I go through it super fast. Also got a ton of zucchinis because Zane and I discovered recently that we love the spiraled zucchini pasta and I have the spiralizer, so I'm definitely gonna use those up or like use them in recipes or like chop them up and put them in the air fryer. They're just good for so many different reasons. Some mini little potatoes. So cute. I got two eggplants, some sweet potatoes, yellow onions, cabbage, red peppers. We got green peppers, some more little mini potatoes. I just thought those were so freaking cute. 
I mean, they're gonna be delicious, but like they're also like tricolor and cute. Some green onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them. A few packages of asparagus because I just love asparagus so much. Some little baby tomatoes, some fresh carrots some fresh ginger, we got some green beans, arugula is my favorite, oh my gosh, so yummy. Some celery, two bags of these little mini peppers, I make these in the air fryer and they are to die for. Some red onion, oranges, a spaghetti squash, I'm so excited. And the most exciting thing is that they had avocados, so I grabbed two things of mini avocados, these are my favorite, they don't go to waste, you actually use the serving size worth. And then I got Zane some blueberries and some strawberries. The strawberries I could get jiggy with, the blueberries, those are definitely for Zane. I got two sleeves of garlic. I have the one in the jar, but it just doesn't compare to the fresh garlic, but when I'm lazy, the jar is good as backup. Some russet potatoes, we got some apples. Whoa, garlic down. I think that that is everything, unless something is hiding underneath, but that's pretty much everything that we got. Oh, I got a cucumber too. I wanted to use that for Connie salads, but they didn't have the crab meat, so I might have to go just grab that to make a Connie salad. Otherwise, I don't know what I would use the cucumber for. I don't really like cucumber by itself, so I would like use it in a recipe, but anyways, I think that covers all of the fresh produce. I know it looks ridiculous, but we go through it very fast, and especially since now it'll be readily available, I will eat veggies every single day with every meal. I love vegetables. All right, moving on to the non-fresh produce. I'll start down here. Zane got his LaCroix. LaCroix? LaCroix. LaCroix. <laughs> Usually he gets the store brand, but they didn't have it, so we got the this brand. I'm not going to say it wrong again. Diet Coke, some Ziplocs, some iced tea. These drinks are all for Zane. I literally just live on water and alcohol. Also got some toilet paper because we were finally just now running out. Some pastas. We've never tried this one before, but we wanted to give it a go. This is pasta made from chickpeas. And I don't know, just seemed interesting. So we're going to try that out. But we got regular pasta as well. Lasagna noodles, fettuccine, penne, and some shells. We also got these pasta sides. You guys know I love these, but we got the Spanish rice one. We only grabbed one last time we went grocery shopping. It was so, so yummy. So I grabbed two of those. And then I've seen a lot of Skinny Taste recipes that call for this seasoning, so I grabbed that. Some steel cut oats, these are good for the apple dessert that I showed you guys in my recipe video, or like healthy cookies. I don't know, I just wanted to have them on hand because we're running out of our other ones. The other ones are rolled oats, but like, what's, I don't know if it's a big difference. I really have no idea, so. Anyways, got some ranch seasonings. These are off-brand, but I didn't see the real brand, so that's what we got. I would probably buy the off-brand anyway, who am I kidding? Got some baking soda because it's just always good to have on hand. Red lobster biscuits, we got those last time and they were so freaking good for a treat yourself night. And then over here are some random cans and such. So I grabbed sriracha because I've seen some recipes call for it. I probably wouldn't use it personally because I don't like spicy stuff, but I just figured it was good for recipes and probably Zane would use it too because he likes spicy stuff. I got some cannelli beans. I got Old Bay seasoning because we just never had and recipes call for it. Some canned chicken. This is really good for like healthy buffalo chicken dip or like chicken salad with mayo It's like really good to have that doesn't like go bad in the pantry And then I also grabbed cream of tartar because so many recipes again call for this and I just never had it Stocked up on some onion powder Italian seasoning. They only have this giant one, but I go through it so quick So it's fine some diced green chilies And then I found these little mini tomato sauces Which I thought were like the perfect little size because sometimes I open up a can and then I use half and then the other half ends up going bad so I am glad that I found these little minis I thought that was so adorable got a can of coconut milk just because just to have it on hand I haven't seen a recipe that I want to try yet with it but I'm sure I will one day so we'll have it got some canned tuna this is my favorite simple healthy lunch some black beans some cream corn refried beans and then some crushed tomatoes some chicken broth, and then I also grabbed some applesauce because, well, A, Zane likes to just eat it as is. I don't really like applesauce that much, but this is good to substitute some ingredients for baking and make it a little more healthy, so I wanted to grab that. And then, of course, we got the cereal, cinnamon toast, and frosted flakes. Holy crap, I feel like I was talking for so long and we only got this bench. All right, let's go quick. Hamburger buns, 40 calorie bread, and then regular white bread. Cinnamon rolls, crescent rolls. These are good for air fryer fried Oreos. I'm excited to make those. Oh, look, diced tomatoes snuck up. 
up here. Tzatziki sauce, I like making this homemade, but I wanted to try a store-bought one and see if it's worth making it at home. Some roasted garlic hummus, that is so freaking good with pita chips, my favorite snack. Some flour, because we were just running out. Reduced fat feta cheese, so good for salads, and I saw some recipes with that. Parmesan. I also grabbed some sour cream. If you watch my channel, you know I always use Greek non-fat yogurt instead of sour cream, but I've seen some recipes call for this, and sometimes I just crave the real sour cream, so I got the light version for like when we make like a taco night, I got corn tortillas, so I'll definitely want like the real authentic sour cream for that. But I also use the Greek yogurt for like a lot of different things, so I think that they'll both be useful to have. Some pancake and waffle mix, because why not? Some cheddar cheese, two types of almond milk. I use one for cooking that's unsweetened. And then for like cereals and stuff, we use the vanilla one. Some slices of provolone, so I can make some French onion soup. Got some pepper jack cheese. I got some yellow cornmeal because I've seen recipes with that as well. Cartoned egg whites because I like to have egg whites a lot, but I feel like I waste the yolk, so I'm glad that I found these. We got some regular eggs as well though. And then I got these little apple cinnamon bars, just good to grab in the morning. Like when I'm working out in the morning, I need to have like some sort of carb and these are like 120 calories and they're delicious. Sometimes I just can't work out on an empty stomach. It like makes me nauseous, so those are good to have for that. We found our Tate's cookies. I thought they didn't have them. Oh my god, if you guys have never had these, these are made in New York, actually on Long Island, and they are so freaking bomb. They're like light and crispy, so delicious. They didn't have very many frozen vegetables, which I was actually okay with because I got so much fresh, but I did find baby Brussels sprouts, which I like to just steam and then broil them, and they're delicious. Got some butter, we were running out. I got my favorite little fruit bars. I don't like fruit, but these do satisfy like my sweet tooth for like an ice cream bar, so they're really good. I got Zane some chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. I'll probably dig into that, who am I kidding? I also found these apple cookies with apple pie filling when I want a little sweet treat. I don't know, they just sounded so yummy. I love desserts with apples or cinnamon. I just said I don't like fruit, but like, I like apples. <laughs> this popcorn is amazing. If you have a little near you, grab it. M&Ms, some tortilla chips, some goldfish, vanilla wafers. Oh my God, these are my favorite when I'm just craving like a cookie I'll just eat one of these and it literally satisfies all my cravings so yummy some mint fudge cookies some Oreos cottage cheese on toast with everything bagel seasoning is so good grab some corn tortillas I'm excited to have these like in the morning with eggs like so yummy some panko breadcrumbs we use this for a lot of different things so we go through it very quickly I grabbed some gnocchi I'm so excited I saw a skinny taste recipe with that some sandwich meat we got fresh and then we always grab this like packaged one this is good to like fry up with um, maybe like a burrito or just eggs in the morning or just make a sandwich with it but I use it for a lot of different things and then we got some frozen burgers they did not have a lot of fresh chicken the only fresh chicken that they had was thighs so I had to grab frozen um, tenderloins and then I also grabbed frozen wings and frozen chicken breast and then I said why not because they only had chicken thighs fresh so I said why don't Zane and I try for the first time to roast a whole chicken because we never have so I thought that that would be fun to try I don't know good for a vlog you know we got some lean ground beef and then some ground turkey as well and then there's those chicken thighs I wanted to grab skinless and boneless but I totally just didn't even realize that the different packaging. Actually, I think these are bone. Oh no, they're probably not boneless. I messed that one up. But usually I would get skinless boneless. I grabbed a sirloin steak, some frozen shrimp, turkey pepperoni, some chicken sausage, Italian style, maple syrup, enchilada sauce. I got red and green. And then I got some jarred sauce, tomato, basil, and garlic. I grabbed two of those. And then I got some salsa. This I thought would be cool for those um, frozen wings that we got to try a new sauce. I know Zane loves this from Buffalo Wild Wings, so I figured we would try it at home. And then I got a ton of spray olive oil because we were out of it, and I just was really sad without it. So now I'm stocked. Also, if you have Lidl, you need to try this vegetable lasagna. It is too die for. I do not like mushrooms at all, but you cannot even taste them in here, so if that's an issue for you, no worries. It is like Alfredo sauce in there. Oh, it's it's just so like comfort food. So good. This is so good for when Zane and I do not feel like cooking and we want something like comforting. It's amazing. I grabbed these little frozen English muffin sandwiches. I love these. And then I also got this roasted vegetable pizza. I've never tried this before, but looked yummy and a quarter of it is only 270 calories, so I was excited about that. So I'm excited to try that. Some 
some white rice. I usually get the boil in the bag because it's just so easy, but they didn't have, so just got that. Non-fat Greek yogurt. Again, I use this for everything. Pizza dough. Um, you can use it for bagels. I want to make empanadas, so this is good to make the dough for the outside, too. It's just really good staple for me, and I like put it on a lot of different stuff. We got some less fat cream cheese or however you want to same shit just cream cheese you know what I'm trying to say and then I also got some sweet Italian sausage and Zane likes the hot Italian sausage but I will definitely be cooking with that one he eats the hot one like by himself for like lunch and stuff wow did I do that is that everything I think I went through it all I mean I've been talking for way too damn long anyway so I hope I did I'm going to spare you guys of having to watch us wipe it all down and put it all away because that would be very boring so I'm just gonna come back to you guys when everything is organized, put away, and I'll just show you how I put everything away. And that's it. I am so hungry too, so I'm gonna end up making myself something, so I'll share that as well. Okay, mostly everything is put away, but I am so freaking starving. It is now 9.30 at night, you guys. I've been hungry for like four hours, so you're gonna totally laugh at what I made, but I hey, wait till you see the fridge. I could not fit everything in there, so I had to use some stuff up. We had a giant container of orzo that I boiled all of it. I should not have, but I used that, and then we had leftover Chinese food, so I put boneless spare ribs and then some of the juices from it, and then I put some asparagus in the air fryer with just some salt, pepper, pepper, onion and garlic powder, and then a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. I know it's like weird mixing flavors, but surprisingly it tastes pretty freaking good. I mean, I'm starving, so anything tastes good, but I had to use up some stuff. I couldn't even fit all the packages of asparagus either, so that's why I made <laughs> one of those. I wanted to take more time to cook, but I'm just so damn hungry, so leftovers is what we're having. Zane just made himself a drink with the new stuff that we got. Yo. <laughs> he made a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Represent. It's so strong, but it's amazing. It's really strong. I tried it. If you guys it. don't know, Long Island ICs are supposed to be like oh. mindless obliteration. Like, it literally combines like, we don't have gin, so I just doubled up on vodka. But it's vodka, supposed to be gin, rum, tequila, mm. Mm. triple sec, which is also like, alcohol. It's, core, yeah. it's all alcohol. Lemon juice, Diet Coke, well, real Coke, but I use Diet. It's strong. It's, it's good also, though, I tried it. It tastes, it tastes like I didn't make it, which is what I like. It yeah, it like definitely, bar it definitely tastes like a bar drink. Yeah, so I'm for proud sure. of myself, but it's just strong. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about <laughs> we, we just went to sit down to eat because I'm so excited to sit down and just relax and eat, but I had to document this because Zane's sitting here going, mmm, mmm, and all I did was mix boneless spare ribs with my air fried asparagus and some plain orzo. The orzo and the asparagus are fire in this. It's I'm pretty good, you, right? You made your own, like, protein in here. Mm hmm This would be something you include in your protein. But I feel like that sweet flavor is, like, good from the boneless spare yeah, ribs. So you can make your own. Yeah. Oh, you're saying, like, to have it all homemade. Yeah, like, have a comprehensive oh, recipe. Oh, I thought you were saying, like, to make it better. I'm thinking if the, the meat was more tender and also Yeah, well, it's, it's leftovers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That right. would be really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the flavor, though. I know, it's actually oh, pretty man. good. I'm like, let me get rid of this orzo. I'm so hungry, though. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna eat. I just had to share. Oh my lord, you guys. I am exhausted, but everything is put away and everything is so full. I think I went a little bit overboard. My makeup is just really cute at this point. It's literally. 10 o'clock at night. Our fridge is pretty freaking small and I got a lot of fresh produce so I really had to stuff it all in there so there's no really organization to my madness. I usually have it like cute and organized but it just, <laughs> it's just not there today. We kind of switched like getting a bunch of freezer stuff to getting a bunch of fresh stuff so our fridge is just jam-packed. I went a little bit overboard. But the kitchen is clean. Everything is wiped down and cleaned. I just said cleaned twice. <laughs> Here we go. This is <laughs> <laughs> fridge. If you guys watched my last organization fridge video, I had like a cute little Lazy Susan here. We had the little cheeses on it that was not hip and happening for today. So up here we have our almond milks. This one is almost empty, so we've got our two back there. Eggs and then uh, like random stuff. There's the yogurt back there and then um, my egg whites, sour cream, cottage cheese. Kind of random, but that's just how it had to fit. Over here we have like drink stuff. And then here is the fruits and the tzatziki sauce and then some feta cheese, the parmesan, the hummus. Very random, like I said, it was so hard to fit everything. In that basket is all of our like salad. And then the grapes are next to it. Here on this shelf we have avocados. Back there is the eggplant, the zucchinis right here. And then behind it is like 
What is behind it? I think the cabbage is back there too. Oh, it's just a bunch of fresh stuff, which I'm not mad about. We're gonna go through it very quickly, but for right now, like this weird period, it's just stuff. I put all the cheeses and turkey pepperoni in there. Down on this side is all of our meat. I'm not gonna go through it because you guys saw everything that we got. There's just some Chinese food left over sitting here. And then all of our meat is over here. And then this is more of the fresh produce, the celery, the carrots, the cauliflower. In here is where I usually keep our fresh produce, but obviously we have outgrown this drawer so this is all of the peppers the asparagus and that's pretty much all that's in here is just peppers and asparagus down here is all the onions the garlic the what is this ginger ginger this is a little onion from Amazon for like five dollars and you can put like half of an onion in here so right now I have like a half an onion and it like keeps it fresh and that way I always know to check this if I have some onion left before I use up a new one amazing and then all of our condiments are pretty much the same I put the applesauce down there the crescent rolls and such and that's it for the fridge exciting and our freezer is usually jam-packed so I'm pretty proud of us up here is our veggies my buy my outshine bars and then Zane's ice cream and in here I just put all the frozen stuff you saw that we got literally only like these and then the meat so in here I have the three bags of chicken over here we've got the shrimp and then the burgers are in that little basket and that is really it for the freezer Zane put all of his drinks up there I took out two avocados for them to get ripe but keeping them in the fridge is a really great way to keep them from not getting overripe too quickly when you have a lot the fruit I am struggling with I obviously don't know what to do with it because our fridge is full I usually like to keep the apples in the fridge because I like when apples are cold but for now, they're just sitting in this glass bowl. I don't have a fruit bowl because we don't usually have this much. So bear with me for a little bit. I'll probably end up opening the apples. I just wanna wash them all. We clean the outside package, but I just wanna wash all the apples inside and then put them in here. So I'm just gonna wait to do that. And then the oranges I wanna use for like drinks and certain recipes and stuff. And Zane would probably eat these straight up. I would not though. Moving on to the pantry. Let me open this up so that my little garden will give you some light this is pretty much all the same just more stocked up so now we've got more cereal you guys saw them before I put the little fruit bars in this little basket the M&Ms and then the chips go in this basket and then these are just like the cookies and stuff by the way I just ate one of these holy guacamole it's so good this will serve my sweet tooth at night up here we've got our bread so we have the little corn tortillas that we got buns bread behind there is all the potatoes that we got so the sweet potatoes the big potatoes the mini potatoes all the freaking potatoes okay in here we've got some pasta sides some random box stuff um some seasoned flour the gnocchi i'm excited to try that it's whole wheat so hopefully it's good still and then i put the rice in this little basket and behind there is all of our pastas holy crap that's a lot of pasta but it's pretty practical for us because we don't eat pasta on a daily basis so we really don't need it to be like visible but when we want pasta we can be like hmm what kind of pasta do we got you know you catch the drift okay moving on up this is obviously our canned section so in this little basket i have the canned tuna canned chicken over here are all of our extra sauces so you guys saw what we got i just have them sitting here behind it is my little grower i love that thing i actually switched out the chives for parsley so you Oh my god, I cannot talk. If you could see that little sprout, she's sprouting. I'm so excited to get fresh parsley because I really wanted to get it today, but they didn't have it. Spaghetti squash and then all the cans that you guys saw we got are just stocked up with the broths right there as well. And then there's just some extras up there. I did not bother to organize it. I just stuffed everything up there because I'm just so damn tired. I just couldn't be bothered. And there you have it. We are stocked up. All right, that's finally gonna do it for me today. This video was probably so chatty, but I enjoyed it so much we desperately needed to go grocery shopping so it feels really nice to be stocked up so expect a lot a lot of cook with me's because I have so many things that I want to make and I'm gonna want to share with you guys so I know that you guys like cooking content hopefully you still do because that's what's gonna be coming up I'm very excited cooking has been really keeping me sane and trying new things is like so so much fun for me you guys know that I love cooking though so I'm really 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 excited to start using stuff up also by the way I never told you guys the total let me grab the receipt first of all is this receipt not the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. Lidl is so affordable. The total for that was $396.73. So almost 400. 
but if you think about it we got so much damn stuff so that's why i say it was like our biggest one yet because we usually spend maybe like 350 but we definitely got a lot more items and spent a little bit more money this time and i definitely had the hardest time fitting everything i've never had such a hard time organizing and fitting things so i don't mind though i'm so excited okay i'm gonna shut up now today's notification shout out hopefully i pronounce this right goes to Janie knapp i love you so much Maybe it's Jenny. Either one. I still love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and having on your notifications. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for supporting me. If anyone else would like a notification shout out, you can go ahead and comment down below letting me know that you have my notifications turned on and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.